the two-wheeled action, we head across to the first part of the four-wheeled action. Leisuregrass.co.za Super Hatch. The Northern Bolton Tool Class is in the house with a big field of 20 cars and more expected throughout the season. It's not going to be easy. Ba Berner, Hilton, all of the guys in Class A, Jonathan Dutoy, very quick. Uh, even Jeffrey Kruger, it was awesome racing with him. But yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a battle this year to defend. Great to see a new sponsor coming on board with uh, Super Hatch Class. They've been a big, big class right the way through and looking forward to action for the first time in 2015. Lights go on and we go racing as they head down towards turn one, BMW Performance Corner. On the front row though, Vanna Peterson looks like he might have got the drop and sneaking on the inside there. What a start from Jeff Kruger. Oh, it was a good start from the second row of the grid and all the way into second place. He's gonna have to defend now going into turn two. Look at that into an excellent corner. Jonathan Dutoy under pressure from Brett Garland. Nice start there from first to class B. Not such a good start in the background as you can see two cars going off. Well, it's the 97 of Jakob Creel and with him Stuart Connick, but they're back on track. They're going to have to do their racing from the back of the pack. Yeah, we've got some work to do from the back of the pack, especially when they uh, are uh, in the mix of these cars. And in the mix, when I talk about this category, Laren, for the first time, you're on board with the commentary side of things. These guys mix it in between the classes. You'll get a couple of class B guys that'll be in the A's. The same thing applies to C's in the B's. And yeah, you can see under braking at the top of the hill, it's Jeff Kruger, who's putting massive pressure onto Vanna Peterson. Peterson joined Super Hatch for the first time last year. Jeff Kruger was overseas doing international duties for the Polo Cup and has come back fired up. This is where he started his racing career and he's looking to do some more damage in this class. Exciting to see power to aid racing, Greg and you spoke about braking. I didn't see much braking going on there. That was full taps into that right end. And into the left as well as they go through side by side. Just enough room for the two of them to get through there. But look who's on their tail. A man who's had the number one plate on his car for a long time. Lost it last year to that man, Brett Garland. Jonathan Detoy is fighting with him. But we're on board with him right now. That's Hilton Van Nieuwenhuizen. And he's got a brand new Citroen C2 that he's now developed. And you can see just how well it's going as he comes on the inside of Kruger and just gets enough room to squeeze through speed and sound. Squeeze through that is exactly right some swapping paint as they go through the turn this is exactly what the spectators want to see and it's a mirror to mirror racing <laughs> some of those mirrors fall off every account now and then, I can let you know. Garland now starts to put the pressure back onto his arch rival. They normally team up at some point in the year as well when we get to the uh, endurance side of things. But now on the braking markers, looks like he might have got to third place and demotes Hilton down one position and immediately into the clutches of Jonathan Detoy. Oh, that C2 looks absolutely spectacular. And it's one of those situations at the top of the hill there where who's going to break first? Well, the C2 had to back off and run wide. Nice to see battles right the way through there. There goes Mel Spur. She's in her own little battle fighting for Class C honors there with Robert Stoltz. See some new cars involved there as well as Class C's Tony Himes goes in there. Oh, there's the Twingo. And that car has been out for the very first time. It is stock, stock standard. Well, that's what's great about this racing formula. You can bring a stock car in and mix it in a good race. I think there's lots of smiles going on inside these cars. Well, you can see here on the replay, Stewie just moved right across. There was no place for Yaka Creel to go. He had to come back on and just slot in behind. Fortunately, both cars back on track. And now we go back to the action at the front end as Garland tries to go around the outside of Jeff Kruger. Good luck on that one. I don't think Jeff's going to give it up, but unfortunately, he just didn't have the drive. That Honda is cooking around here. Good line through the, the switchback section. This is a very technical part of the track, I must say. Where you go in and where you come out can be a really make or break that whole top section of the circuit. Nick Martin's leading out the Class Bs there in baby blue. There's Andre de Lange. He's leading things out in Class C. So as I said, in the mix of the Class Bs, but he's just a very talented front-wheel drive car driver, and he can really get his car in the mix amongst some of the uh, slightly quicker cars in terms of power. But of course, remember, he's in a Class C machine. There it is, fighting hard for honors. And we're getting into the closing stages now as they start to come across the line and complete another lap. You can see John O'Koenig now also looking behind him. And into the rearview mirror, you'll look out for Ishmael Beloy. Well, good to see Jonathan Koenig there. Little battles forming all over the track. Greg, they've separated, but uh, make no mistake, there's still racing going on between car and car. And, uh, oh, we've got a number 52 that's pulled off. Obviously, run into some sort of problem. Willem van Nieuwenhuizen. That's in his son's old car. This is his son's new car we're on board with right now. Hilton van Nieuwenhuizen heading to the top of the hill and into Sussel Corner. Hard on the brakes, and you can see a little bit of a gap now has opened up between Vanna Peterson and Brett Garland, who are fighting for honors one and two. Then there's that small gap I spoke about, Jeff Kruger, trying to keep out Jonathan 
Jordan Dutoy and Hilton Van Nieuwhuizen. Well, Greg, I like how you talk about small gap because in this class, a small gap is probably about two meters. And uh, these guys are running bumper to bumper, but uh, Van der Peters uh, putting that goal through its paces and getting away with it. Yeah, getting the checkered flag as well. A super effort first win in the class for 2015. Heads the way of Peterson Racing IDG's Volkswagen Golf. It's the Jonas Way Autobahn Mag Loop Civic of Brett Garland in second. Trans Africa Racing, Jonathan Detoy in third. And the Volkswagen Polo there of Jeff Kruger in fourth for class A. And in Class B, the winner was uh, Nick Martin, Mona Human, good drive in the Open Cadets, Jonathan Kunick in third place, Zane Fanzel in fourth, and Ishmael Beloy in fifth place. In the Class C's the Battle Royal was eventually won out by Andre de Lange. Robert Stoltz getting through on Mel right in the closing stages, and she got beaten out. And then it was Tony Himes and Sam Gerber. So some high fives and a little bit of chat in between the races, but looks like they're all ready to go now for race number two. Change of surface flag down into turn number one after another competitor dropped an entire sump of oil. So it should be pretty interesting with these front wheel drive machines as they go down there. What a start from the outside though. And Hilton Van Nieuwenhuizen gets also Oh, Jeff Kruger using a little bit of the inside and a bit more than usual as he takes a bit of curbing with him down into an X-Con. Oh, there you can see they've uh, covered that oil that's been spilled going down. Must, oh, there's the after effects of it. I was going to say, who's going to get in the brakes the latest? Well, there's the cause. And uh, off into the kitty litter. Steam sure combustion car of Jeff Kruger and a good recovery from him. It shouldn't take him too long to get through the field. He has got a very good talent in a front wheel drive car. And you can see just how hard he's working in the office as we speak. But uh, look where he's dropped all the way down into the Class B competitors. Hilton went with him. The two of them unfortunately caught a little bit of that leftover oil and the cement dust and two of them went spinning into an Excon corner, which has opened things up a little bit at the top end, although it is still Van der Peterse who is leading as we saw the whole of race number one. Oh well, Greg, that always makes a race exciting when you watch top competitors having to come through the field and that shows you the true class of a racer. It's going to be interesting to watch them fight through the field. Oh, it's just a big pity that they lost out on the opportunity of that reverse grid for the second heat. So uh, yeah, they've got Got some work to do. Ishmael Beloy is uh, already under attack from Hilton and from Jeff as they both try to sneak through. What a move there. Mona Himan, heads up big guy. They're on your tail and they've just snuck through but stay with him because if you can go you're going to get away from Nick Martin and there's a possibility of a victory in Class B. Well, good move from Hilton there as he went up the inside and that's probably just a little break he needs to get away from Jeff Kruger. Jeff Kruger is sort of trying to sneak with him, but unfortunately he's going to have to make one or two passes to get back with Hilton in the next turn. John O'Koenig fighting hard with, uh, looks like on his tail there was the ADL roofing machine and Andre de Lange certainly is going to be pushing hard. Speaking of pushing hard, Jonathan Dutoy means business here. We're on board with Garland looking a little bit further up the road. He's lost a bit of ground here and won't probably be able to get the ground made up unless something goes wrong. And when, oh wow, that is extremely late from Detoy. Wow, that was awesome to watch, and it must have been awesome for Brett Garland to watch. In fact, that's probably a strategy now, just to watch these two guys go mirror to mirror as they head through the left-hander down into turn eight. Maybe can pick up on a pass going through there. Yeah, into Leisure Grass Corner. This, of course, is the new sponsor for turn eight this time. And Peterson comes to return the favour on Detoy. They've gone side by side for four corners, out of Sassel, through Kenwood, all the way down through the left sweep and into Leisure Grass. And this is where we pick up on our Class Bs, and it's swapped out. Mornay's lost out to uh, Nick Martin. Martin now leads out in the B. Oh, you said leisure grass. There was no leisure going on there. Those guys are full taps, grass and all. They don't worry about too much of the black stuff here. Whether it's green or black, they do their racing. Yeah, they'll find a little bit of extra ground if they can. The sweep vehicle here, yes, that's with the uh, orange lights on. Louis Scholz was given those orange lights to try and get a speed up, and it certainly got him a little bit quicker in heat number two. He's fighting with Robert Stoltz. Just behind was Mel Spur. And wow, you can see just how tight things are getting because Spur is under pressure there, and all of a sudden it's going to be a battle royal at the back end of the field as well as at the front. Well, back of the front end of the class, Bees, and Nick Martin still leads out on the 99. Can Mona Human get up there and make a race of it? We'll have to wait and see towards the end of the race. Yeah, he's pushing hard, but I think Nick Martin's just got that little bit of an edge over him into these closing stages, so uh, keep an eye on that one. DeLange, though, has not got any Class C competitors, even with any sights. He's put about four or five Class B competitors between himself and second place in the Class Cs, and a Class A competitor as well, as we see the return of Willem van Nieuwenhuizen there in the Peugeot. I must say, that's a beautiful looking car. And uh, back on board with Jeff Kruger. This is what it's like to be inside a race car in uh, this class. And uh, you can see he looks very calm, but make no mistake, he is pushing the limits. One of the smoothest drivers in this country. That's what I've got to tell you. That's why he's done so well when he went across to India and to Poland to do some action in the Volkswagen Cup polo class of those two countries. 
and uh, looks like things starting to heat up at the front end there. That was Hilton getting it completely sideways. He's feeling pressure from behind, and that pressure was the man we're just speaking about, Jeff Kruger. As they head down towards Leisure Grass and GNH Transport Corner, it is going to be Jonathan Detoy who will hang on. Trans Africa Racing Man in the Honda, going to beat out Vanna Peterson. I think Peterson might take the overall, depending on those lap times. And a nice run there from uh, the Autobahn man in third place. Class B's is all about Nick Martin, and he's opened up a big gap over Mona Himan. And Mona Himan finishes up just ahead of Class C's Andre de Langer for the honours. Running out the results, Jonathan Dutoy and the Trans Africa Racing Civic in the front, Vanna Peterson in second place. Close third place there for Brett Garland, and Hilton van Nieuwenhuizen racing back to fourth. In the Class B's we just mentioned at Nick Martin and Mona Himan. Ishmael Beloy was in third in the Trans Africa Racing Civic. John Koenig, Jakob Kriel, Louis Skoltz, and Stewie Koenig rounding up Class B. Like we said, only one winner there in the Class C. He was really on for Wonder de Lange in the ADL Roofing Ford Fiesta. Robert Stoltz in second place, Tony Holmes in third place, Mel Spur, good drive in fourth. Yeah, the day went well. Uh, it's always good to be back in Subatch. Uh, this is no way I started my career. Um, but it went well. I uh, qualified um, third and started second for the second race. So it was, it was a good day. Just in the second heat, I made a bit of a mistake. Uh, nearly crashed into Hilton, but luckily he saw me coming and uh, we avoided a very bad accident. So yeah, I'm happy to be back in Subatch and uh, I'm looking forward to the next round. Mona Iman, we promoted him to uh, Class B with our spare car and uh, he's doing a fantastic job. First and second for the day for the team. What a great way to start the season and some champagne to celebrate all the action on track. Join us after the break for some more action from the Extreme Festival.